All right, welcome to the 2009-2010 uh, Clearfield Bison Boys Basketball Preview. We're here with head coach Forrest Cantman. Forrest, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dave. Um, first of all, let's talk about last season, uh, one of your most successful campaigns. Um, take us through a little bit about what that meant to you having that group. Well, it was one of the more memorable years in Clearfield history, you know, winning uh, 22 games. Again, I'm not a big big person in regard to records. I couldn't tell you what my lifetime record is, couldn't tell you where I'm at or whatever. You just play, go out and play every game and hope our kids play every game the best they can possibly play. But, you know, you win a district championship and there has been many won in our history. You know, we go into the state playoffs and uh, up five with four minutes to go against the team and end, and end up losing late in the game and the team goes to the state championship. So we knew we were as good as all the teams in the West. In our, in an overall, our league and district has been that good the last three to four years. And, you know, there were quality players, okay? So, you know, the year before that, Bradford got to the final four in the state, and that was two of our losses out of seven losses that year. Uh, you know, and that, last year, you know, had had two outstanding scorers, okay, with Matt Shiner, who just came a few points short of a 1,000 points, and, you know, Matt didn't play a whole lot. I didn't play him a whole lot his sophomore year, but, again, if he was – Playing in a smaller school, he'd probably been a 2,000 point score. That's an outstanding player playing college ball now. Um, my my son Jaron Cam was another outstanding score. So we had two kids that could put 20 points on the board at any time. You know, had a you know, and he's playing college football at this point. Our point guard, another two year starter to go with those guys, uh, Parker Harrington, who is now at the Air Force Academy. You know, it's pretty nice to have a point guard who you know you can tell his intelligence going to the Air Force Academy. So three two-year starters coming back there, okay, with the, with Jared being a three-year letterman, and you know having Cruz Kerr, a big powerful football player, but a, still knew how to play basketball, having a big strong, you know, kid inside, okay, and then uh, <clears throat> Tyler Wilson, a, who was our eighth man coming off the bench who was with us for three years and gave us probably a quarter a game. So uh, looking ahead to this year, obviously you have uh, the two juniors you talked about coming back. Uh, any other uh, players you look to step up and fill the, the void with the departing seniors? Well, unique, Dave. I mean, they, yeah, there was uh, Chad Zura was our first guy in, off the bench last year, and he was an inside guy for us. Now he's a point guard to can dunk the ball. He's actually going out the point guard, so you're really going to see. I really <laughs> believe he's the best player in the district coming back. You know, and then we have Trey to be able to shoot the ball. Ben Johnson shot the ball really well for us, okay, as a as a – JV last year. Ben didn't come out his sophomore year and then came back out again. And he, he and Trey will give us some, some very good outside threats. Um, we have about 10 guys who play this year. I mean, that's what's, what's unique, okay? I mean, we, we scrimmaged last night against Central Mountain and Belfont, two teams that very high expectations, very good team. They were dead even scrimmage last night. They were scrimmaged a week ago uh, because the people with Dubois Catholic and Union, we played well in that scrimmage and we were real excited. Uh, JV team, I can't tell you the record. They were over five, well over 500 last year with 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 uh, Johnson, Jason Bowman coming back, who's a very solid player that I haven't had yet, who pulled a hamstring early in the season, so I haven't had him yet in any scrimmages. We played well. Okay, Kurt Bell, 6'4", kid who's been with us for three years and starting to find his own out there, and starting to play pretty well. Uh, so we got to go back into the seniors, Chad and Trey. Okay, Kurt Bell. Ben, ben Johnson, okay, uh, Luke Peterson, another senior, okay, so I have six seniors, okay, that are going to be playing varsity basketball. Then I have two very good juniors right now in, in uh, Jack Milgard, who's playing very well, and Andrew Redden, who's playing very well, and Zach Fan, another junior who's going to be, who's injured right now, will push for some playing time also. Okay, then I got two sophomores who are going to play. Robbie Myers, who was one of the better big guys I've, I've seen come up as a sophomore. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kurt Fry, who's a quarterback on a football team this year. So, I mean, you know, you know Kurt's an experienced you know, place that they can experience kids. So, I mean, I got all those kids to be able to play in the varsity rotation. They're all fighting for minutes right now. So, you know, numbers is not a problem there. So the only weakness I see, we don't shoot the ball as well as last year. We're going to hustle and be all over the place. It's just the scores will be very close, okay, every single game, I'm going to say, you know, just because of not being able to put the ball in the basket as well as last year, but a solid team coming back. Okay, so uh, have you have you discussed any goals? What are the goals for your team this year? Well, you know, what we've always said, any team you'd ever, 
I've ever coached in anything, whatever sport it may be, little league all the way up to you know, coaching. You know, that's just as hard as coaching high school you know, sports. You know, I always my goal is always just play the best we can play the last game of the season, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. And it's been that's one probably been one of the trademarks for our team. I mean, I remember one year that going go all the way back with Jimmy Jimmy Collins, okay, and uh, you know, thinking about his senior year, we were losing to St. Mary's 39 or 29 to two at halftime, and almost didn't score the first half. Wow. Had to play them in the district semifinals and lose to them by four. Okay, so that's how we you know it's I you know you like to win a lot of games, but you want your team to be the best at the end because you want to give your your school and your team a chance to win a district championship, win a state playoff game. You always want to be you know where you're going to be at, at the end, not where you're at, at the beginning. So our goals are always you know let's be the best team we can be at the end of the year. Okay, number two, then let's go for some of those trophies. Let's see if we can be the district champion. Then let's see if we can be our league champion, which is a very solid league. Having Yelp County won a state championship in Class A a couple of years ago, and some other solid teams in that league. You, you know, we won all those last year. But again, you know, the ultimate goal is if you play your best at the end of the year, you got a shot to win a district championship. Win a district championship, and then try to win. You know, you want to win the state playoffs. I mean, if you set your goals too low. You know, I'm not going to say we want to be a state champion, that's probably not realistic, but let's see what we can do when we get into state playoffs and give a team a run like we did last year and the year before that. I mean, we lost a couple of close games to maybe the most talented teams, you know, in the West back-to-back -back years. So, you know, let's see if we can get over and help and maybe win a state playoff game, but you got to get to that district championship game first, which qualifies you for the state playoffs. So let's get there and let's play our best at the end of the year. All right, well... Thank you very much, Coach, for sitting down with us, and best of luck this season. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it.